In the heart of Japan's ancient capital, a great shrine adorned with images of messenger foxes stands dedicated to Yinari Okami, the Shinto deity of rice. Leading beyond the main temple grounds, a winding trail lined with thousands of orange torii gates plunges deep into the lush forests of the sacred Mount Inari. This is an interesting, otherworldly hike, and it can be done in the morning. Mindful of the tourist crowds that are particularly large this time of the year, we made an early start, arriving just in time to see golden sun rays beginning to stream into the still quiet grounds. So I think this shrine enshrines a deity called Inari, which I think is the deity of rice. And the foxes are said to be servants of the deity, which is why you'll see a lot of foxes in this shrine. As we entered into the woods, each torii gate we passed seemed to take us further into a different world. Before long, we were enveloped in the sights, scent, and sounds of the forest. And ahead of us, the stately role of Tori continued. Alright, the uphills have really begun now. This will take us up the mountain. As we climbed, we encountered several shops and tea houses by the trail nestled against the mountain.
so we're probably getting quite a bit of our too. Still a bit more to go though. We came to a bustling observation deck with a fantastic view of the city below. A rendezvous point joining several trails and also a common stopping point for less committed hikers. A 30 minute loop remained from here that crosses the summit of the mountain and while I was determined to finish it, my parents decided to stop and wait here. So from this point on, there is a roughly 30 minute loop trail that will take us through the summit and a few other spots. Up ahead, a new torii gate was being set up. Each torii is purchased as a contribution to the shrine and the gates bear the names of their donors. The cold mountain air and the dwindling people created a renewed sense of sanctity as I drew closer to the summit. The mountain weather drew a shroud of clouds overhead and a chilling drizzle soon began. And yet, as swiftly as it came, the clouds soon dissipated unveiling the sun once more. Even the fickle weather does its part to draw you to the place, accentuating the seamless fusion of the natural and the man-made. I arrived at the summit and found it awash in sunlight. You know, this place is memorable as I think the first time where I distinctly felt a feeling of sacredness in the setting of a foreign religion. Whatever one's view of religion, there is something about the beauty of nature and the cross-cultural reverence it inspires. Something about beauty itself and the selfless salvation that comes with its proper apprehension. Something that has taught generations of our species to seek something higher and greater than material fulfillment.
<laughs> the hike was over, and I reunited with my parents for a brief drink at the tea house before it was time to head down. Thank you for watching the video, hope you liked it, and if you do, do consider clicking the like button. This is actually the second of a series of videos that is coming out of my Kyoto trip back in November. Now the other videos will go in my other channel, and I'll put links to that in the description below if you're interested. And the reason they're going to my other channel is because I made a decision some time ago to dedicate this channel to hiking content. And so anything that's not related to hiking will go into my other channel. They'll also usually be more casual, more vlog style, whereas the stuff that comes to this channel will be generally more meticulously produced, which means that I spend more time on them, which may not necessarily mean that they're better, it just means that I'm pushing my boundaries. So for example, I pretty much write all of my music that I use in these hiking videos nowadays, and I'm particularly happy with the ones in this video, by the way, so hopefully you enjoyed that. Up till now, I've been filming pretty much exclusively using my phone this guy. This is the Asus Zenfone 5 and frankly it's pretty much out of its depth for the kinds of videos I'm trying to produce nowadays. So I've gone ahead and got myself a new Sony point-and-shoot camera which is what's doing the filming right now and I'm looking forward to eventually using this to make some hopefully better looking videos. But before that I actually have a few more trips uh, left over backlog from my last uh, trip to Japan. So those are going to come out first because I think they're really good trips and you know they will be worth it hopefully so there'll be some more videos filmed using this for a while you know I'll be you know exploring and getting used to this camera in the meantime I look forward to eventually making a full hiking video using this camera and hopefully it would look quite good indeed so look forward to that meanwhile thank you again for watching the video hit the like and subscribe button if you like but if then if you don't I really appreciate you just watching this video, so thank you very much, and I'll see you again next time. So two tips if you want to come here. One, don't come on the weekend. Two, come as early as you can.